bitter bitch. That's why you're going to continue And why did you sit about. up there and make your son cry in front of everybody? Oh, okay. how did I do that? So, okay. I want to say something. Because a lot of y'all... see how these bitches come at me? Like, <laughs> Don't call me no bitch, Olivia. Don't call me no bitch, Olivia. Don't call me... Hold on, hold on, Jasmine. Olivia, Olivia, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't don't come up here and call me no bitch. I don't need no fucking parenting lessons from you. Nobody's giving you a parenting lesson. I'm literally trying to have a... What I'm talking about, I asked you a question. bro. I asked you a question i'm not your bro i asked you a question What's why on, why is it when you when you sat up there and you knew your son was doing well in football you did not want to let him have his moment everybody in everybody that was Girl, watching christian everybody that was shit. watching christian we were cheering christian on oh there was not good. one person You're gonna there was not one person on there was not star. one person that was sitting up here saying that christian should not have been doing what he was doing. Everybody wanted to see Christian win. Everybody except for you. Y'all wanted to see y'all. Everybody to see except for you. Dad put that shit out there. Girl, Everybody you except for you. argue and be mad. She really no, did. You're still she really to push did. You're still she really to did. How was that pushing the button? Because somebody said your son was good in a motherfucking copy. sport, bitch. Are you crazy? You don't know what the fuck goes on. So shut up about the football shit. Period. Are you crazy? You can't tell me to shut up about shit, bitch. <laughs> I just did, bitch. Now you're a what? bitch. And you're a horrible, you're a horrible mother. So Lord child. Bitch. You're right here so you right here getting You're a bitch and you're a horrible mother. mother. And, and you're jealous of your kids. You're jealous of your fucking kids. You're jealous of your kids. You're jealous of your kids. You're jealous of your kids. Bye. Bye. You're dismissed. Marissa, kiss my ass, bitch. Girl, fuck you. Fuck you. No. Okay, and see so Jasmine, no Jasmine, <laughs> Jasmine, and see Jasmine. This is why you are going to surpass your friend. Jasmine, you are did going you know to surpass she was your come friend. Up here and go hammerhead shark like that. So we sat up here. Olivia. We're literally sitting up here. Get we're. I was literally sitting up here telling this girl how her the story the the story of her children how it moved me. She didn't give a shit about that. Okay, so she didn't give kid. a shit, and and look, don't don't feel like you need to defend your friend because <laughs> this is not me attacking your friend. I literally sat up here and had a conversation. You know, you you're a sports person, right? You know what sports did for your life, do you not? You know, you learned a lot of lessons from playing sports, right? Yeah, but can I say something quick? Hold on, I, hold on, I, hold yes, on. I did. You learned a lot of lessons, did you not? I did, but I did also learn you cannot force your kids to do something that they don't want. We're not talking about forcing anything. The, what I'm saying I, I, is, I you know, you know how that impacted your life in a positive way. Yes. It impacted you in a positive way. Whatever, whatever, however many games you won, you lost or whatever, so much so to where you yourself, you've gotten your children into sports. Okay. I, but, and so my thing, my issue with your so-called friend is that she can't even see beyond the shit that she wants to be able to say, you know what, let me go ahead and let my kid enjoy normal things that other kids enjoy because maybe maybe he's learning he or she is learning more about life than the game while playing these sports and that was a real opportunity for whoever doesn't like live or whoever likes live that gave us an opportunity to see her child in a different life to cheer him on in a positive way, to have something positive to say. And what did she do? Yep. She took him out of that for her own selfish needs to try to so-called get back at her baby daddy. Do you know how many times my son and how many times I heard other people's sons say they didn't want to go to practice, they didn't feel like running, they didn't feel like this and that? But guess what? We don't let them just do whatever they want to do. No, you're going to stay and stick with this commitment because this is a life lesson. You can't just give up on something when it gets too hard or when you don't feel like it. You made a commitment. You're going to play this game, and this is how we're going to move forward. Ms. Social Your Angela. friend don't get it. She don't get it. Ms. Social and Angela. that's the problem that I have with her. You Ms. know, Social so Angela. that's why she ran her little ass off. 
you know, and and tell people, fuck you, you're a bitch and this and that, because she don't want to sit up here and realize that, you know what, girl, it ain't about you no more. She it's told not me about to kiss her you. ass, girl. Can, yeah. Can I say something real quick and then I got But no, let's let Jazz say, say what she wants to say because she was trying to say something. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is I don't like a bitch that's sitting up here trying to act like she's the best mother. And then when you talk to her about her children, oh, she wants to just go ahead and steadfast and hold on to the idea of, oh, well, I do what I want with my kids. No, you what you're doing, you're enabling your son to be a degenerate. And to question his dad's authority and to question yeah. your authority when he becomes a fucking teenager. And then when you can't control his ass, then you want to sit up there and blame his dad or say whatever the fuck you want to say. But see, when the reality is, if this if this bitch would just get in line with the program and keep her kids at the forefront and do what's best for them. Well, maybe she they may come out right because it's not their fault that she is a fuck up. That mm -hmm. she can't get along with her ex. That's not their fault. But what does she do? She comes up here. She monetizes their pain and their suffering and their stress. She monetizes the shit to fit her own need. That's why the judge fucking put that bitch in her fucking place. And she can't say shit no more. Mm -hmm. But don't, 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 don't come up here and ever think that you can disrespect me, ho. <laughs> And tell me that I can't sit up here and talk my shit the way that I want to talk it. Because, look, you have your fucking platform over there with 90-something thousand folks. And I got mine over here. And when I talk to a woman about some real mother shit and you can't even identify with me and what I'm talking about. See, that's how I know you full of shit. And you're a selfish-ass woman. And you want everything to fucking be around you. Sitting up here holding a fucking baby up to a camera with a goddamn blanket over his head. What, you're embarrassed of your own fucking kid? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, Jasmine. Okay, so I wanted to say something. So as far as Olivia, that her kids are her trigger. So you might feel like she's coming. Strong, well, if it's her trigger, she needs to keep them off of the camera. But because you, when I'm watching her kids, I'm not thinking about her. I'm cheering on the kids from a mother perspective. That's why she put them up there because she wants other mothers to come to her channel and watch her shit. So don't sit up here and say that I can't say shit about your kid and how whatever you're doing or not doing with your kid, how that's impacting me as a viewer. I'm up here watching your shit because you have a fucking kid. I identify with that and I want to know why is it that when that little little boy is on that field and you know what time you're supposed to be up there at that practice he's so fucking good at what he's doing he's becoming a homecoming king and this and that bitch your son is not a homecoming king because he's just that good no no kid that's six years old seven years old no kid knows the game of football that fucking well Somebody is putting time also, and energy into him. But, it's his dad that's putting time and energy into him. The other coaches that's putting time and energy into him to teach him that shit. And then his natural ability is coming out. But yet we didn't get to see him show up at the championship game because her fucking ass didn't want to take him to the fucking game. So don't, don't, don't look. You got five kids. Don't be making no excuses for your friend. <laughs> Don't don't make no fucking excuses for your friend because I gave her a chance. Yeah, I gave her a real chance, and I wanted to ask her. I don't care what she goes through. I'm talking about those kids. But that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people don't know. I mean, I personally know because I know Olivia, so I know what she has to deal with off of social media. A lot of y'all kind of going back like that. That's again. Listen, that's, listen. That's, if what you go through on social media affects you that bad to where you can't even take your child to a fucking football game that he has been committed to for the better part of three or four months before you decided to show your ass up. Look, it's not about you. Don't nice. don't you don't need to be up here. You don't need to be on social media. If you can't keep your kids regular uh, schedule of life, you don't need to be up here. 
And, and yes, when she knows, didn't she... take that boy to that game, that didn't have shit to do with social media. Yes, None of us was out there. None of shoulder. us was out there. There was not one reactor that was like, yeah, y'all coming live from Christian's game. You know, Liv ain't out here. We don't know. That bitch ain't that fucking popular. None of us was out there. That was a real life. She came, she came in with a chip on her shoulder. She, yeah. she had attitude. Yeah. She came in. If you yeah. have your friend, give her some real friend advice and let her know that she could tell her story in a positive way right. without all the drama and negativity. You're and then so people mad. don't create their own narratives. Mm -hmm. And she's mad. She's jealous of the fact that you are gaining your popularity and you are getting ready to surpass her ass. That's why she showed up in the chat trying to cuss people out and do this and that. That's why I kept saying the title is about you. Her ass is blocked on she's her not <laughs> Olivia. She, no, she's, she's not mad about any. Olivia's not mad about anything like that. Now I can honestly say that she's not mad about nothing about social media, anything. Olivia literally, she supports me. She was in the chat to support me. You know what I'm saying? That's why she was here. That's Look, you I'm, didn't need to have say, no Olivia, support like that. You didn't need to have that. People can sit here and say whatever they want to say. They can come up here and say whatever they that you did not need nobody protecting you or nothing like that. And again, we're, we're diverting the chat, from the point. The we're diverting I mean, I from the point. The she point is, I asked her a simple question about her son and the football. Can I can I say something right quick? I 